Um, <laughs> by the way, I haven't been working out because my cap was fucked up. And um, I'm still dropping weight just by not boozing and eating like a fucking angel. Do you know what I have every fucking night? Like probably four out of seven nights a week. I have this pre-made tabbouleh salad that has this little, I don't know if it's couscous. I don't know what the fuck it is. Tomatoes and onions in it. And then I put a little fucking chicken in there. And I just eat that shit like the fuel that it is. I just shovel it into my mouth to stop the, the hunger feeling. And that's around 5.30 at 6, and then I don't do anything. And if I get a little extra hungry, I did a set tonight, you know, burned a little calories, and every once in a while I'll come home, I just have a fucking bowl of cereal, and then that's it. And I have to tell you, dude, I got to tell you, I got on the scale today, old fucking Billy Alabaster freckled fat tits was down to 175 pounds. I was up to a buck 85. I was a buck 90 last summer, so I'm down to 175. My fighting weight is 172. I got this acting gig in two fucking weeks. And I've been unable to work out. My fucking rotator cuff is all fucked up again. I was imitating this blow-up doll on stage, and I stuck my fucking arm out, and it started burning again. It's like, really? I'm a, I'm a goddamn... Man. I have to... You know what I have to do? I have to go to a physical therapist, and I have to, I have to start being a better patient. Like, you know, when they tell me to do some shit... I need to go fucking do the shit. That's what the fuck I need to do to finally get past this shit because I haven't worked out. You know, I used to be pull-up guy. I got to bet with Paul Verzi that when I'm 70 years old, I'll still be able to do 10 pull-ups. I won't even be able to do that when I turn 50. The way this is fucking going. I'm, what I'm trying to say here, people, is I'm falling apart. I know there's a lot of benefits out there, okay, from, you know, people whose fucking, you know, heads were fused together with their brother, whatever, whatever your fucking cause is, all right? What about broken down, middle-aged, white male heterosexuals? What about that? What about all, about all of us? Okay? After enjoying half a century of privilege, you know, what about us with our sore calf and our sore right shoulder? What about that, huh, people? You know? I want to know how much you care. Um, I just want to turn a fucking corner with this goddamn thing. Can't do it. I haven't been able to do it. Oh, rotator cuffs, you know, they're tough. You know, like, they kind of fucking linger. I know. I know. I'm living with it. Um, so anyways, I've been talking to some people uh, recently. And, you know, I've always just joked around about pharmaceutical companies. I keep hearing this rumor that they started, you know, this fucking heroin epidemic and everything. And I just found out, you know, someone from, like, the town I grew up in, 23 years old, just fucking died of a heroin overdose. I grew up in fucking Maybury. And, uh... Someone was talking about, like, basically all these fucking things, Oxy, Percocet, all of that shit, it has the exact same fucking addictive qualities, chemical makeup, all of that shit is heroin. It's just like a synthetic heroin. And the uh, difference between an opiate and an opioid, an opiate is natural. Like those poppy fucking things you always see in those Chuck Norris movies, right? And then uh, the poppy seeds there, and then in a... a Opiate is just like manufactured. Nerds. Nerds. You fucking go into the doctor like me. I fucked up my calf. This fucking guy goes, all right, I'm going to give you a painkiller, and I'm going to give you an anti-inflammatory. So I go to the fucking pharmaceutical. Pharmacists are fucking hilarious. The fact that they get to dress up like they're doctors is one of the funniest fucking things. It's like, what are you doing in there? It's like you're basically working the Starbucks of the medical field. You know? What, what are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing back? You should get me a cup of coffee with my fucking pills. They always act like they're so goddamn, you know, just under the gun. You're back there, you're counting aspirin. I, I get, you know, what in the, f why? You know what the fucking worst thing is, is when somebody, like, it's like running, there's nothing, people think cops are bad. The worst thing, you want a fucking attitude, get a rent-a-cop. Because in the, in, the, in the back of his head, he knows he's not a real cop. So now he's got something to prove. A cop's a cop, you know what I mean? So he's, he knows, he's, you know, he's got a gun. He's got a fucking license to kill here. I'll stick this right in the back of your fucking mouth and I'll pull the trigger and go down and go to your sandwich and not even think about it, right? Fucking rental cop, what does he got? Maybe he has a taser. He's got a little fucking stick. 
So he's got to be some cunt running around taking some little fucking kid's skateboard away, right? They, 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 they dabble in that shit. It's always that type of shit, you know what I mean? It's like if you're going to get a threesome, right? There's always the beautiful girl and then the other one who's fucking annoying, who's got to start running a yap. Even if she is beautiful, she knows she's not as good looking as the other one. And that brings up the insecurity. And then she won't shut the fuck up. She tries to be funny or something like that, a stupid sloppy tits hanging out. It's like, what are you doing? I don't care how fucking ugly you are. You don't think I'm going to work my way through you to get to her? Just shut up. I don't know what the fuck this has to do with pharmaceutical companies, okay? But I know when I went to this pharmacy with my calf problem, all right, I was supposed to get, he said a painkiller. I'm like, well, I'm not fucking with those. I'm not fucking with those. I'm not getting heroin in a fucking <laughs> synthetic form and start taking, look how, look how I handle booze, people. Or I should say, look how booze handled me, Okay. It was like Triple G walking down Alvarez the other day. That's what fucking booze does to me. I'm backing up the whole fucking fight. And every once in a while, I plant and I fucking throw a couple combinations. You know what the bottle does? It eats it up. It eats it up, right? But my wife's sitting there going, you're not an alcoholic. Has me winning 118, 110. Figure that one out. So I fucking go in to uh, CVS, right, which is a great place. If you need to buy somebody a card, you know, get a gallon of root beer and get some fucking heroin, right? Maybe some sh fucking, I don't know, shaving cream or some shit, right? So the fucking, you know, rent a fucking doctor guy behind there. He fucking, you know, it's, you know, it's going to be like 20 minutes. So it's going to be like 20 minutes. Oh, all right, okay, whatever, I get it. There's a lot of different colored pills back there. You got to look at your pill chart to see which color. The blue ones are for boys and the red ones are for old people. Whatever that science is. They're, they're back there acting like they make the pills. <laughs> I need to shut the fuck up about pharmacists. I got to read up on them here. Pharmacists. Let me finish telling the story. Um, so the guy finally comes back, right? I'm standing behind all these cute fucking old people. You know what I mean? Poor fucking people with all their goddamn pills for their ailments and shit. Um... And uh, he gives me two vials. And I go, okay, what's this one? He goes, those are the pain painkillers. And I'm like, all right, well, I'm not messing with that. And I, and I go, what are these? And he goes, those, uh, those are more pain pills. And I'm like, well, what about the anti-inflammatory? He goes, oh, it's, it's in these painkillers. And it's just like, oh, I don't want that. I just want the anti-inflammatory. But you know what it is? It's these fucking drug companies. They're drug dealers. So they, they, they want to get me hooked. So you want the anti-inflammatory, you got to do a little fucking synthetic heroin with, with it. Okay, now I'm basing all of this on my own fucking paranoia and like two conversations I've had over the last 48 hours. Okay, and now I'm in my fucking house, like in that movie Beautiful Mind. I'm taking fucking, I'm cutting out headlines from papers that I don't read. And I'm, and I'm linking it all together, and I'm presenting it as fact to you, okay? Pharmacists, what do they do? All right. They advise physicians and other health practitioners on the selections, dosage, interactions, and side effects of medication. They also plan and monitor drug programs or regimens. Pharmacists counsel hospitalized patients on the use of drugs and on their use at home when the patients are discharged. Yeah, you mean at the back of the CVS. Okay, take two of these twice a day. Take one on the third day and then flush the rest of it, right? Um, pharmacists. Level... Of edu Dude, everything just pops up. Like, I wrote what, and then it immediately popped up. Do they do? I said level, and immediately of education immediately popped up. Doctoral or professional degree. All right, here's what you got to do. There's no way. This is no, no, this can't be more than a two year fucking program. Okay, here you go. Here's a video on how to be a fucking pharmacist. It's a fucking cartoon character in a pharmacist, in a pharmacy. Educational requirements and career summary. Becoming a pharmacist requires a significant amount of formal education. Get the fuck out of here. Learn about education, job, duties, and training to see if this is the right career for you. 
Okay, find the perfect school. Okay, doctor of pharmacy, degree fields, non-specified, two years of undergraduate study. I got four is required to apply for pharmacy school. Okay, license required in all states. I got one of those to sell health insurance. That's not impressive. You take a test and then you're licensed. Experience, clerkship, residencies, fellowships. This is bullshit. Key skills, attention to detail. Oh, did I say four Percocet? I meant one. Uh, An ex- extensive knowledge of drugs and interactions. Okay, there you go. I'll give you that one. Research, communication, interpersonal, and customer service skills. Job outlook, 3% growth. Medium annual salary, $121,500. Given up for the pharmacist. Jesus, no wonder their lab coats are so goddamn clean, huh? Back there raking in the fucking money. I'll tell you, if you start selling some of those drugs on the side to the people you get addictive in the front, you know, I'm just saying, you can get those fake tits there, sweetheart. Um, 